started uh, like five or six years ago issuing the first assets on Ethereum, the public blockchain. So from day one, we started and we, we chose a public blockchain. We, and we, we've been pretty vocal about that, saying this should be like the, the gold standard for everyone. Of course, regulation in different countries prevent us from doing you know, everything we would like to do. But despite using Ethereum public blockchain, and as Anthony said, we kind of developed our own hybrid model. We, we did develop our own framework. Um, access to our assets. And so we started with bonds, we structured products, and one of the missing pieces that we had at the time was how to settle these assets on chain and have the full on chain experience. So, of course, we looked at the, the stable coins that are readily available on the market. None of them was, I would say, okay for us from a bank uh, perspective, meaning in terms of transparency, regulation. Uh, what recourse you have over these assets and stuff like this. So that's why we came up with our own stablecoin as well on Ethereum to allow for that, I would say, full on-chain experience. We do have some and very interesting discussions with our regulators. So in Europe, we had the opportunity to launch this using Ethereum because from the early days on in France, the law recognized that the use of a blockchain was allowed to issue securities and to register ownership of securities. That's something that is still missing in most of the most other parts of the world. And even today, we are still discussing with our regulators regarding how do we make sure that you can you know, validate the transactions on the network that you don't really control. But I would say our stake, our position is that public blockchains are or should be the, the way to go. But you know, in the meantime, and you know, time for us to, to get there, we are also ready to use private chains. This will really depend on you know, where the clients and customers are comfortable with you know, being active. The last thing that I will add is that on um, public blockchains, uh, we could use as well the, f the fact that we can educate our customers, meaning we started on Ethereum and you know, custodying or receiving our, our bond or structured products issued on Ethereum is really the same experience of, of receiving the Ethereum crypto assets. So for clients that wanted to start with, I would say, safe assets, bonds, securities, it was a way for them to test and to try, and to try public chains before moving to more exotic or, or, or risky assets.